Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be on the Steam Summer Sale, which by the time this video is uploaded should be starting or already started. It kind of depends. I'm going to be uploading this video at the regular time, 12pm CT, so I don't really know exactly when it starts, but based on the leaks it should start on June 25th. So anyway guys, without further ado, let's get into this video with one quick word to Float Market. So Float Market, beautiful Float Market, one of the greatest third party marketplaces in the entire world. This is going to be a great option for you US buyers and sellers that want to go ahead and check out this amazing marketplace just head over to float market using the link in the description below and make sure that you go ahead and use my affiliate code that's going to support the channel directly i think it's a really great marketplace and if you want a more in-depth review that has already happened on the channel and you can go ahead and check that out anyway guys thanks for checking out float market use the link in the description and let's get into this video so this video obviously is going to be a little bit more formatted in a sort of weird way the reason for that is because the price drops for the summer sale are probably not going to be that significant that's why i'm actually just telling you guys to watch these items rather than just straight up invest into them. The summer sales in the previous years have not really been all that crazy, prices have not dropped like they used to, and I really think a lot of people are actually a lot more interested in investing in the summer sale rather than selling the items for games, which is usually what actually drops the prices of these items. I still think that snipes are going to be a good option here, so maybe on these items that I'm talking about, throw up a buy order, try to get the highest buy order on one, and you might be able to snipe one that someone is quick selling for a really good price. I also wanted to make it clear real quick as well that third party marketplaces are still going to be your friend, I really don't think prices are going to drop that crazy on the Steam Marketplace. I've already said this in the previous Summer Sale for Preparation Guide that I made, and I know that a lot of other YouTubers are kind of misinformed about how this is going to work, and I've made videos saying that prices are going to drop, which, honestly, there's just not any information that actually points to that at all. I mean, even one of the really big titles that a lot of people are actually hyped for, which is Cyberpunk 2077, that one actually got pushed back again, and as well as that, the only other title I can really think of that is actually going to draw in any people to actually potentially quick sell their skins is going to be Last of Us 2, which I really don't think has enough hype around it to cause a big market drop. Again, you have to consider that the main reason that items drop during the summer sale is because people are quick selling in order to buy the games that go on sale, and that's why items are actually going to drop. I actually think a lot more people are interested in CSGO skins this time around than they are actually going to be in buying games, so that's why I think there's a, not a lot of evidence pointing towards why the market would actually drop. Also before this video begins, one more thing, the number two spot on this list is actually going to be taken up by a few different consumables that I think are interesting to watch, some consumables that have been performing well recently, and ones that I think are going to be good options for the future, and you may be able to pick those up at cheaper prices in case people decide to sell their consumables in order to buy really cheap games that are like 90% off and are only costing around a dollar. This is going to be really important, and I think consumables are going to be one of the big ones to watch, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and point those out. Now that we're all clear that this summer sale is probably not going to be as good as people are hyping it up to be, let's go ahead and get into this list. If you guys want a more in-depth explanation and sort of a survival guide that I made in the past about this upcoming summer sale, just go ahead and check out the video that is right up on screen right now. Anyway, let's get into this list. All right, guys, starting off with number five spot on this list, it's going to be the USP Orion, and it's kind of interchangeable with the number four spot, and you'll see why in a second. But the USP Orion has been something that has been seeing some pretty consistent returns, albeit pretty small, although they have been consistent over the time that the item has been rising this year. As well as that, the item is also probably going to see future rises, just because, of course, as the game gets older, the skin itself also gets older and more rare by default, and so I think that the USP Orion is going to be a great choice to watch out for. Obviously, try to look for some snipes on Steam, and although items on third-party marketplaces are not going to drop as much as they probably would, since people can't use third-party marketplace balance in order to buy games on Steam, then I really still think that third-party marketplaces are going to be your best bets, even though people are probably not going to drop the prices on there as much. You're still going to probably get them cheaper than you will on Steam. Anyway, not really too much to extend on here. The USP Orion is basically just going to be a solid item that has been seeing consistent returns and probably is going to continue to see consistent returns. Definitely make sure you're watching this and definitely try to get it for a good price if you can. Quick side note before we get into number four, USP Orion is actually something that I did in fact buy in the last summer sale when it actually happened. I was able to get it for a little bit cheaper than the regular market price and I was also able to snipe one with decent stickers so that was pretty cool. All right guys moving on to the number four spot for this list this is going to be the AK-47 Redline and the Redline is actually going to be a good option not really for the investment purpose but rather for the liquid purposes. The main reason I point this out is because I would really suggest that if you have extra balance on Steam, enough to buy an AK-47 Redline, I would definitely check these out. Obviously, as we all know, the main popular liquid in CSGO trading, which was Arcanas, are now unusable for trading for the most part. Obviously, people are still going to be using them as trade items because they are pretty liquid and they are enjoyed by
by a large amount of people in the Dota fan base. I still think that red lines are going to be the more popular option going forward, just because they are a better store of value. They're a little bit more consistent in terms of their pricing, and I just think they're going to be a good option. On the Steam Summer Sale side of things, man, that was a tongue twister. The AK-47 red line is a very high demand item, which traditionally sees a lot of declines in price during the Summer Sale, just because that's an item that a lot of people have, and therefore a lot of people will sell for games. So I would keep an eye on these. I think they're going to be able to be bought for a bit cheaper than they usually are, probably not too much, but probably an option still. If you're really heavy into CSGO trading, I would especially recommend this option, and I'd really try to zero in on the AK-47 red line because you're probably going to be able to pick them up for a good cheap price, and also you're going to be able to use them as a liquid in trading, which is huge as well. Moving on to the number three spot for this list, this is going to go to two specific items from the Shuttered Web Operation. This is obviously going to be one I've talked about extensively, and another one that I've talked about quite a bit as well, which is the Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr and also the Og Minnet Lily. Both are going to occupy the number three spots. So the reason I think these two items are still going to be good options is because I think a lot of people have obviously invested into them, and one of the main things these items are going to have to do is they're going to have to get rid of a lot of that investor stockpile and kind of move out into their stock into the marketplace. You can kind of think of these items like gas in a car, for example. The more gas there is in the car, the more it's going to be able to run, and the less gas in the car, the less it's going to be able to run. So obviously, the item is not going to be able to rise like crazy when there's a low amount of them because they're not going to sell very often because they're going to be at high prices, of course. And when there's a lot of them on the marketplace, they're going to sell a lot and for very wide ranging of prices. It's only going to take a little bit longer for these items to really get out there into the world of CSGO and not really too much into those investor stockpiles, which is going to be really good for the items that are going to probably rise a lot after the stock has been kind of sent into a more general aspect and isn't going to be held too much. The reason I think you should zero in on these items from the summer sale is because I think a lot of the investors that bought them just because they were popular investments and don't really know too much about how they work are probably going to not really want to hold it for too long and because they have been seeing not a crazy huge jump in prices like they were probably hyped up to think, which means that the items are probably not going to see a lot of permanence in their inventories because they are not really too attached to them and they're probably a little bit too paranoid about them and I think they're going to drop them in order to buy some games and it's going to be a pretty big draw in order for these newbie investors basically to sell them off. Anyway, keep an eye on the Emerald Dormungunder and the Augmented Lily. You could get them for a cheaper price than usual. One more important thing to discuss that I think is actually kind of interesting before we get into the more in-depth number two spot, of course, is that I think an interesting kind of theory about this is that these newbie investors may think that because the summer sale is bringing lower prices, they're going to want to actually sell their items off a little bit earlier at the beginning of the summer sale in order to actually buy other items during the summer sale and kind of reinvest, I guess. And I think this could in fact drop prices of popular investment items like the Emerald Gormagunder, for example. Hopefully that theory makes sense. Of course, I don't want to go into too much detail because it's totally just a theory, but something to consider. All right, guys, moving on to the number two spot. This is going to be my consumable picks for the Steam Summer Sale. So this is going to be items like sticker capsules and cases, basically anything that can actually be consumed. So my picks for the consumables are going to be the Community Sticker Capsule 1, the Sticker Capsule 2, the Shattered Web Case, the popular hyped cases like the Breakout and Phoenix and Glove Cases, and of course the Gold Web Foil. So kind of to get in on all of these and kind of give you a quick reason for why I think they're good Community Sticker Capsule 1 has seen some rises in its foils like the Swag Foil and also the Flammable and in general the Headhunter and the Sheriff of course have both also seen rises. This is actually a popular investment item right now as well and I think in the future is going to see some rises because of the rises of its foils which are obviously the big draw of the capsule itself. Moving on to the Sticker Capsule 2 obviously this is a big one with China a lot of them are going to like putting crowns onto their items even though the crowns look a little bit different for the Chinese variant of the sticker itself. I still think the crown foil is a very popular sticker. It still gains a lot of sticker percentage when it's put on any weapon, and I think it's going to be a great option for just owning as a sticker itself. And obviously, the only way to achieve that in a normal form is to randomly get it from the sticker capsule 2, which I think is also going to continue to be a good riser, just because of the crown foil itself. I've already made videos on the Shattered Web case, but I still think it's going to be a great option. Obviously, the Shattered Web case is going to follow the same sort of trend line as the Hydra case. We're just going to have to wait a long time on it. It's going to be obviously a long-term case investment, but I think it's going to be a really good one. It's probably also going to see these same consumable drops that we would see for the same consumable reasons that is going to happen during the same summer sale, if it happens at all. As for the popular hyped cases, this is the glove case, the breakout case, the phoenix case, for example. These are still all going to be great options. I think they're going to normalize a little bit, which is actually good. They are obviously pretty overvalued right now with a lot of hype surrounding them, and I think they may be able to see a little bit of a breaking point and a decline, just like the Shadow Web case has been seeing in the previous few hours actually right now. And so I think that these cases are going to kind of break their hype and decline a little bit during the summer sale. 
if that's possible. Hopefully it is because these are going to be popular options for investments. And finally, closing at the number two spot is the Goldweb Foil. This is a pretty interesting one. Obviously, it's a consumable rather than the Desert Eagle Emerald Drumming Gunder, which can still be achieved in trade-ups. So the quantity of this item cannot go up. It can only go down, which is a very good thing for investors because obviously the item is only going to get rarer as time goes on. It's not being put into any sort of capsule or anything like that. And I think with the investment aspect of the Goldweb Foil and the fact that it has also been a very popular, pretty highly invested in an item, I think another breaking point can be hit, which can decrease the item during the Steam Summer sale itself. Probably a good time to pick it up. And the path leads here, the number one spot for this video, which is going to go to major stickers in general. So I'm going to go a little bit more into depth, but I'm not going to really discuss every single major sticker that I think is a good option here. I'm just going to kind of discuss some of them that are going to be decent. So the main reason major stickers are at the number one spot, and the main reason they got separated from the consumables at number two spot is because the Rio Major is coming up, which is obviously a very hyped major just because it's been pushed back so much due to yeah, that thing. Anyway, this is going to be a really good option to invest into major stickers during the Steam Summer Sale because there's going to be a lot of good interesting options just to prepare for the Rio Major in a way because the stickers for the Rio Major are obviously going to come out and they're going to shake up the sticker market. So again, I'm not going to go into too much detail. You've already been here for about 11 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and just try to wrap this up very quickly. Basically, major stickers are going to be a good option because with the Rio Major coming out, there's going to be a big shakeup in the quantity of how many team stickers are actually in the market as a whole. So for example, with the Furia Hollow back when the Berlin Major was happening. During the qualifiers, Furia was very close to getting eliminated, which actually spiked their sticker price like crazy. Obviously, Furia did not get eliminated, which meant that they did have a Berlin sticker in the Berlin tournament, and that, of course, decreased the price of the hyped-up price of the Furia Hollow itself. So this is because the Furia team was obviously very close to getting knocked out and not going to the Berlin Major, which would mean they did not have a Berlin sticker reiteration, and the Kata VT 2019 sticker would be the only printing. So that's one of the main things I want you guys to check out for Major Sticker Investing going into the Rio Major and also going to the summer sale in terms of how much the price could decrease. So the main thing here is going to be looking for teams that have very popular sticker designs but are not going to probably see a new sticker at the upcoming Rio Major. So for example, there have been a lot of teams that have been very close to actually getting knocked out of the qualifiers and are not going to make it up to the upcoming Major. So these teams are obviously going to see pretty big increases in their sticker value as the previous stickers are not going to be reiterated in the Rio Major, blah, 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 blah. Basically, because they're going to be more rare and they're going to have less printings, they're going to increase in value. This is actually very similar to what happens in a lot of card games. For example, cards that only get printed one time in a very old set are going to rise in value a lot when they are more relevant because those cards are going to be very high demand and are going to have a very low quantity. So that's basically the same thing that's happening here. Basically, the teams are going to have high demand but are not going to see a printing at Rio, which means that the sticker is going to be less accessible for the fans of the teams. So I think that that's going to actually increase the value of the sticker from the previous majors. And again, as always, of course, go for those very popular teams such as Navi, Liquid, and basically any team that's seeing a lot of top cuts and any team that has a huge fan base is always going to be a good option. Navi and Astralis are obviously one of the big ones. Obviously, Astralis is seeing some things with burnout on their team, so I think Navi is going to be the front runner for popular stickers. Obviously, these are still going to be good options, and they're going to be good options regardless if they qualify for Rio or not. In terms of years that I want you guys to zero in on, I'm going to go ahead and point you towards the Atlanta and Boston stickers. Those are both going to have very good designs comparatively to the other years, and they're also going to be fairly cheap. And with that, that's going to cut the video. Hopefully, this was a in-depth enough video for you guys to get a good idea of how this all works and a good idea of how these items are going to perform at the Steam Summer Sale. If the Steam Summer Sale does get delayed or something else happens where the leaked date of June 25th is not the actual date of the Summer Sale, you can still treat this video as a nice top five investments because I think these are still going to be good investments going forward regardless of the Summer Sale. Anyway guys, let me know if you have any other things that you're watching for this upcoming Summer Sale in terms of investing in the comments below. Also be sure to check out Float Market, which is going to be a great way to support the channel if you want to go ahead and buy some skins on there. It's a great marketplace with great prices. Of course, also be sure to check out the subscribe button and hit that notification bell to never miss a quick and very fast and very detailed investment upload that is going to be first on my channel rather than anywhere else. Also make sure to check out the social links that are below that to my Discord and Twitter. Those are going to be good options in order to get in contact with me and I'm going to be able to respond to your DM when I have the time. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching this video. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.